Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to talk about the advanced Git topics. So firstly, we'll discuss branching. In Git, we'll discuss the different commands uh, to create, delete uh, the branches in Git and how to move from one branch to another. Then we'll discuss basically the flow, uh, like the different uh, branches that we create in uh, Git for representing our different sandboxes. Then we'll discuss the merging like we'll have we'll merge one branch to the other branch let's say we are, we are merging our feature branch to our uh, sandbox branch or production branch we'll discuss that and within the merging we'll see what is a merge conflict uh, and how git handles that merge conflict and uh, sometimes we'll have to auto resolve those merge conflict we'll see that and finally we'll discuss what is ci and cd uh, which is part of the modern devops practice so let's start so uh, Prerequisites before proceeding is uh, please install Git in your system and create a GitHub account. Uh, uh, watch the previous video I've already created. I'll give that I button here. You can click on that and watch that video for the basic GitHub commands. So let's start. So firstly, what is branching in Git? So whenever we initialize a repository in Git, the default branch that Git creates for us is called the master branch. So um, usually we represent this master branch as the production branch. Now we can create separate branches for every sandbox uh, we have. And uh, then like let's say within a sprint we have a new development. So for uh, that new development, we'll create a new feature branch. We'll call that uh, our new branch as a feature branch. That means we are developing a new feature. And then after all the developments has been done, we will uh, commit our changes. Then we will merge that branch to the sandbox or the production branch. So uh, we have some commands for that. We have git branch uh, and the branch name to create a new branch name. So uh, uh, and if we just type git branch, we'll see all the branches that are present uh, in the in our GitHub and uh, in our repository. Sorry, and uh, uh, we also have checkout git checkout command. Git checkout command is used to move from one one branch to another. Let's say we are currently in our feature branch. Now we want to move to our sandbox branch and see how the code looks like. Uh, uh, like what is the current working directory for that? Uh, uh, the sandbox branch so we can use the git checkout like to move from one branch to another uh, so uh, usually a head pointer is maintained by git uh, to to like point to a branch to the current working branch so uh, let's say we have uh, a master branch we have a feature branch uh, to create a new feature we have created that and uh, we are currently on our feature branch so the head will be pointing to that branch and uh, if we use the git checkout command then uh, to move back to the master branch then help head would point towards the branch that we are currently on we are currently present on so uh, every branch will have its own commit history and working directory as i said so let's say we have made some changes to our feature branch and if we move back to the master branch if we move the head back to the master branch so that, that those changes will not be present uh, in that branch to finally deploy our new features, we merge the branch to the branch representing the higher orgs. So the process flow would be something like this. Uh, it would be like a feature branch that is merged to the developer sandbox branch. That developer sandbox branch is merged to the partial copy sandbox and then to the full copy sandbox. This is where the UAT is done. And after the UAT is done, then it is uh, merged to the production branch, which uh, actually indicates the go live. So let's discuss our merge. Uh, so we use the git merge command to merge the feature branch into the main branch. Uh, and after merging it, we can either keep the branch or delete it. So uh, we have commands like git merge. Uh, we have uh, git merge br the branch name. That means we uh, the branch name that we want to merge to the current branch. Uh, so uh, sometimes a uh, situation arise where uh, two developers are working on the same file and they try to merge their branch some and this can result uh, into a merge conflict let's say they are working on the same piece of code uh, so uh, 
like it would be better understood when we see a demo we will see that demo in the end so let's say they are working on the same piece of code and one developer changes the same line or let's say some add is add some new line and the other other developer add its own different lines to that same piece of code when we try to merge uh, like let the let's say the two developers merges their feature branch there would be two different feature branch for, for where each developer would be working and they try to merge their branch let's say to the developer sandbox so uh, on the same piece of code git will not understand which whose changes to keep right so git will just uh, uh, throw an error firstly it will try to auto resolve the conflict then it will throw a merge conflict so which means that uh, git is not able to resolve like whose changes to keep and then we'll have to intervene manually and then we'll have to like let's say resolve the conflict manually so this would be better understood when we see a demo and we'll do that in the end so uh, before doing a demo i just want to discuss the concepts of continuous integration and continuous deployment that are part of the modern devops practices so continuous integrations are it, this means that we are continuously developing and merging our changes back to the branch as often as possible the developers changes are validated by creating a build and running automated test again the build so by doing so uh, we avoid integrate integration challenges that can happen when waiting for the release date to merge changes into the release branch so whenever we uh, whenever we merge our changes to the main branch so some automated tests are run so which means to uh, that is done to maintain consistency for our code to check the quality of our code and uh, that it doesn't break our code so these tests are uh, are run automatically and uh, as soon as these tests are passed uh, the uh, the code is merged to the main branch and continuous delivery is like every time the uh, let's say the tests have passed what we will do is as soon as our uh, branch gets merged to the higher branch a deployment gets started and that deployment uh, can only be stopped if there is a failed test case or our tests are passed then the then only the deployment will fail so continuous deployment is an excellent way to accelerate the feedback loop with our customers and take pressure off the team as there isn't a release day anymore developers can focus on building software and they see their work go live minutes after they are finished working on it so these two are the modern practices that uh, mostly projects are going on uh, right now so now let's see a demo using vs code i'll just go to the vs code so uh, we should have our uh, salesforce extension pack installed and i have already created a sfdx project i have named it demonstrate branching git so firstly to uh, showcase our branching and to showcase the merging uh, in git we'll first create a apex class let's create a apex class uh, let's name it calculator plus we have created this class uh, now what we will do is we'll click on this uh, third icon from the left uh, this is the source control we'll click on that and we'll initialize a repository so it will ask you to log into the github uh, for me it's already logged in that is why this uh, screen is getting shown now what i'll do is i'll just stage all the changes uh, so stage is like we'll add all the changes to the staging area if uh, if you want to know more you can see my previous video so after that uh, after staging all the changes uh, we will commit our changes so uh, how we can commit we will just click on this uh, commit button so this screen is open this screen is uh, to write our commit message so whenever we do a commit we need to describe what changes we have done so let's say that i am writing uh, initial commit for calculator class right and i'll just click on this uh, tick mark at the top accept commit message and you can see that the commit has been done so uh, now we will just click on this terminal button click on new terminal and our terminal screen will open up uh, i'll just show git log i'll just type git log and i can see this uh, is the commit id for it right and uh, we have some other information we have the author name we have the author email and we have the date and time this is the commit message so uh, now let's say that uh, create a new feature feature branch what i'll do is i'll just click here 
uh, I'll click uh, on this create new branch and I'll give it a branch name. Let's say I name it new feature branch. So a new branch has been created for us. Uh, you can see at the bottom we are now referring to the new feature branch. I'll just type git branch command in the terminal. And in the git branch, we can see that we have two branches, the master branch and the new feature branch. And we are currently pointing to the uh, new feature branch, which is uh, in green. And we have this uh, star also pointed to next to it. So in this uh, new feature branch, uh, let's say that uh, we uh, change something. We change instead of add two numbers, I, I say that I need to change the function name to add three numbers three numbers right and we have uh, uh, in the left we can see uh, we have modified this uh, calculator class and we are getting the option either we can discard our changes or we can stage our changes i'll just stage our, my changes and after stage i'll just click on commit uh, i'll just say changing the method name of calculator class i'll save it i'll just click on commit so we have successfully committed uh, our uh, calculator class. Now uh, what I'll do is I'll uh, go back to the master branch. Uh, we can let's use our command git checkout master. So switch to the branch master. You can see at the bottom the branching has been changed to master. So you can see that our master branch uh, has the old code because that the code which we have written in the new feature branch that ha still hasn't been merged to the master branch. So uh, let's say like uh, some other branch merges to the master branch and there is a change uh, in that branch. Let's say uh, it it is merging this add two numbers uh, change. I've changed the function name and uh, uh, I'll, what I'll do is I'll stage the changes. Uh, I'll stage the changes here and I'll commit. Change the method name and let's commit it. Now let's merge our changes. So uh, how we can merge those changes? Uh, we are on the master branch. So what we have to do is we can either use the UI, the UI which VS Code has given us or we can use the terminal. So let me use UI here. So uh, go to uh, merge branch here. So it will ask me which branch you want to merge. I'll say new feature branch. So immediately it, it throws me an error that there is a conflict and uh, it is showing me do you want to resolve it in the merge editor. Let's resolve it in the merge editor. So it is, it is showing that uh, in the new feature branch, we have this code add three numbers while in the current branch, while in the current branch, we have add two numbers change. So uh, some other uh, person, uh, let's say that their code went ahead of us and they changed the function name to add two numbers change and uh, our code, we, uh, we also modified the same class. And we are now, uh, we change the method name to add three numbers. So now Git is confused. Now Git doesn't know which code to keep, right? So Git just can't override the code. So it is asking us to uh, like resolve the conflict on our own. So what we will do is we can either accept incoming, we can either accept combination. So what I'll do is I'll uh, click on accept combination. So uh, what it does is like it adds the combination that is the S change uh, end of at the end of the method and this is our result. So now we will just uh, resolve our merge by clicking on complete merge and now our conflict has been resolved. Now we will just uh, uh, commit our changes by click clicking on this and now in our master branch uh, this is our latest commit. So now if I go back to our feature branch by clicking on uh, here at the bottom and click on new feature branch. So you can see this feature branch contains the old code. New feature branch, we can see the old code being present. Now we want our uh, new code to be present uh, here. So what we will do is we'll go to terminal again. So uh, we have this terminal already open. Uh, so I'll do the grid branch. Uh, 
so it is showing me we are currently on the new feature branch so what i'll do is i'll do a git rebase master so uh, let now you uh, now you can see that we have the latest code that we had for our master so we have rebased the uh, our branch to uh, let's say point to the master branch so uh, now let's say i want to see the history commit history how we can do that so i'll just uh, do a git log and i'll do a graph view and i'll do it in one line so you can see that currently the head is pointing to the new feature branch and uh, that new feature branch and master are on the same level that there is no difference between new feature branch and master we can see the old commits here uh, so this is the first commit that we did initial commit for calculator class then uh, for this commit id we changed the method name and uh, then we changed the uh, method name for calculator class in the other branch then uh, in this commit the uh, top one we can see that we have merged both those branches here and now head is pointing to uh, these two this new branch new feature branch and uh, master is on the same level as this branch that means there is no difference between the code of these two branches so this was a basic tutorial for the uh, to show branching and how to resolve a merge conflict using vs code so uh, in the in the next video we'll use github and uh, we'll see pull request and how to merge conflicts when working with github so stay tuned for that video and thanks everyone for watching this video have a great day